Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Well, hello again. You join me on a very sunny but cold day here in Almeria, Spain. And this video is going to be a bit of a different video to the ones we normally do, because it's basically just a mix and match of various things I've been wanting to do on the bike but haven't got around to yet and I'm going to do them today and I thought I might as well share it with you. So the first thing I was keen to do and managed to do before this recording um, I wanted to do some Moto Jitsu style training. If you don't know Moto Jitsu he has a YouTube channel, he's kind of a riding instructor and the things he can do with a bike will blow your mind. So if you haven't heard of um, Moto Jitsu before, I suggest you go and check him out. Anyway, I've watched a couple of his exercises and I wanted to practice those on the Meteor. And normally whenever I get a new bike, I go to a nearby industrial estate and practice these kind of maneuvers um, just to find out what the bike's capable of and just to get used to how it reacts. But since I've had the meter I've not actually been able to do that because as you can probably guess since I've had the meteor more or less every trip out I've been making content for the channel so I haven't really done too many trips out when I wasn't recording so today I thought it's a nice day it's about time I got out and did something for myself so we did that earlier today so that was quite good today I was practicing slow speed 180 360 turns on the side of the tyre, which uh, is something I tend to struggle with. It's just a confidence issue really, you just have to trust the bike not to fall over. I wouldn't say I've mastered it, but I've certainly improved today, so that's something I'll probably keep going back to practice. So that's the one thing I've wanted to do for a long time and I finally got to do it. Another thing I've wanted to do for a long time is to see how much headroom I have with my audio recording speed-wise. Now when I'm recording I'm always very um, conscious to keep my speed down just to make sure that the audio doesn't get ruined. So I thought today I'll take us up the motorway which is there and we'll just try the audio at various speeds and then I'll get a feel for um, f up to which speed I can reasonably record decent audio because that's something I've no idea about. So we'll give that a try so that's something else I'm going to sort out today. I'm also interested to know how fast the Meteor will go in fourth gear up until the rev limiter kicks in because I've never revved it out in fourth gear so I thought I'd give that a go and when we're on the motorway I can also demonstrate the top speed for those who are interested and we might even get to see the speed limiter in action because this is a bit of a downhill stretch here so um, if I keep it pinned at top speed, you should be able to observe that we're not actually gaining any speed. So I thought we could do that today as well. And then once I finished all of my little jobs that I wanted to do on the bike today, I think I'll head off for a little blast somewhere and I'll probably put footage of that on at the end of the video. But yeah, for now, we're just going to go up the motorway. The first test will be to see what we can pull in fourth gear until we hit the limiter. And finally we'll do a terminal velocity test and uh, possibly get to see the speed limiter in action if we manage to hit 120. So let's give that a go. Hope you enjoy the ride. So we've just done coming up to 4,700 kilometers and we've just had the six month service and they did an oil change which they didn't need to do so we have fresh oil so I'm feeling confident about giving the bike a bit of a pasting today right so we need to get up to speed pretty quick now Thank you. 
So before we head back for a nice little blast through the countryside, to summarise, I didn't manage to hit the limiter in fourth gear and we were doing about 120 kilometres at the time. I changed up to fifth gear and the speed gradually started to creep up as we went downhill and once we got past 120 k's, 121 k's on the display um, the limiter seemed to kick in and the bike was surging forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards as I know and love it. Another interesting thing is when I went to Almeria in the dark the other day I've noticed that the tripper pod here which is currently showing the time um, when it's night time you have a black background with white um, clock obviously to, to not uh, dazzle you too much and I did notice that at 7 o'clock exactly on the dot it reverted to this white background with the red clock and I must say that at um, 7 o'clock it was still pitch dark and that was kind of too bright so in the winter months it definitely uh, reverts to this white background a bit too early but there you go that was just something I noticed all of a sudden I was riding down the motorway and it was like somebody put the lights on just everything went white and I looked and the tripper pod had switched for, at seven o'clock from the black background to the white background so that's interesting we did and learn right so I'll stop everything and I'll set off for my little country blast and I'll probably video that for you as well. See you then. Well I've done my Moto Jitsu testing and practicing. I've done my motorway high speed testing. What better way to finish the day than a little blast up a nice road. See what we can find. to Alcantar Road. Um, we've ridden this in the opposite direction before. But I haven't ridden it this way round for a very long time. And as it's such a lovely day, why not?
Well, I hope you enjoyed that short little blast. I know we did. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a different video, a bit of a mishmash, different themes today. Um, but I needed to get out and test some of the things I've been wanting to do for a long time and haven't got around to yet. So I hope overall you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like. If you haven't subscribed yet and you've watched a couple of my videos, I would urge you to do so. That would be a great help to me. So overall, thank you for watching and I look forward to bringing you another good video very soon. Bye-bye.